animals can be seen almost everywhere. They live all around Earth, which means that some of them live in cooler areas such as the Arctic region, while others prefer to live in warmer climates such as here in the Philippines. But have you ever wondered about how different animals end up surviving in various habitats? The answer is simple. They adapt. An adaptation is an evolutionary process that helps organisms survive within their respective environments. All living things adapt in order to survive, including us humans. As such, we see humans in different climates as well, whether it be in the desert heat of Dubai or the freezing temperatures of Alaska. For animals, adaptations could be physical, physiological, or behavioral. An example of a physical adaptation would be the giraffe's long legs and necks, which provide them with the necessary height to reach tall trees within the savanna. Physiological adaptations, on the other hand, are either internal or cellular adaptations that help them survive their environment. An interesting example would be the development of venom within venomous snakes. If physical and physiological adaptations affect the animal's body and natural capacity to survive, behavioral adaptations are, as the name suggests, behaviors cultivated through adaptation in order to survive such as the brown bear's torpor in which, unlike hibernation, the animal is able to wake up easily if it is hurt or threatened. Pregnant female brown bears can also wake up from torpor to give birth and then sleep again. Adaptations help animals survive, and each of their own adaptations make each animal unique in their own special way. We, humans, are huge factors in helping them adapt, as we have, for the last 500 years, inserted ourselves into the lives of millions upon millions of different species. So much so that some animals have developed specific adaptations to live with humans such as the monkeys in India who enter cities to look for food. An example closer to home would be house pests, such as rats and geckos. The problem with adaptations affected by humans is that animals become dislodged from their natural habitat and environment. And though some species may adapt to this, to undo centuries of evolutionary adaptation in a short period of time is asking too much from our wildlife. So what can we do to help when deforestation, resource hoarding, and climate change are all factors that we humans have brought upon this ecosystem? Since we already know about how animals survive and adapt to their habitats, we must work towards educating each other about the environmental impact of our actions. Simple acts of environmental conservation such as supporting environmentally friendly products, Properly disposing of our waste and reusing non-biodegradable containers come a long way towards the journey of helping our wildlife survive.